building is three arms in neurological practice, like right there, by Dr. Anantha Neurological. positive patients. We have separate molecular signatures before we give them a survival rate. So if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself. But still, uh, it, it uh, depends on the molecular signature because today's topic was not about lung cancer. Sorry for that. Rick, good evening to Ananda. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. Special thanks uh, to my uh, friend Dr. Arnachalam sir and I can see many of my uh, seniors here, Dr. Mahendran sir, Dr. Pontian sir, very few faces I know, I know in Kodambakam IMA. It's the first, first meeting I am coming and a chance for the first meeting with first presentation. Three hours in a uh, urological, neurosurgical practice, how to recognize, how to treat, when you need an expert help, really, does all patient with stone needs an help? Does all patient with uh, urological problem needs an expert help? No. When exactly a urologist help is needed, that is my, the, my goal of presentation. If ultrasound shows, many times you might have seen encounter ultrasound shows mild PCS dilatation, is it any significance? Sir? Nowadays, patient uh, Google everything and uh, come and uh, meet you, sir, in the system to dilated Unless, first of all, if a bladder is full, sometimes uh, ureter will be a reflexing ureter. If a reflexing ureter with a full bladder, if a, a sonologist sees the dilated system, doesn't need any uh, intervention, any further uh, opinion, ask the patient to repeat the scan with the empty bladder, 99% it will be normal. So, not all ultrasound showing um, dilated pelvic system needs an opinion. So when you need an opinion, yeah, definitely when a patient is symptomatic, whenever there are problems will be created by a patient who come who goes for a master checkup and nagging one and other uh, practitioners. But generally, if a patient is symptomatic and there is some there is some clue is uh, we need a further inter intervention. There are few things which I really want where the system dilated and needs an opinion. One is uh, pelvic uterine junction obstruction and. Uh, this is, this is another case of pelvic retention obstruction, but there is a bilateral obstruction. And this is a patient with ref reflex and a word for reflex. Generally, uh, more than 15 years, if there is a reflex, no intervention is needed. Okay. If your, person, if your child is having a reflex disease, that too is a mild reflex, we can manage with the antibiotics because the development of the, with the development, the reflex will settle on its own. If, suppose, the, uh, and it, child should be managed with antibiotic. If suppose the child in spite of antibiotic or reflex is severe, we will need an opinion. So this is another case with uh, uh, urethrosis where uh, patient can have a dilated system. This is a, rarely the right side if there is a dilatation, it can be a patient can be asymptomatic, still there will be significant dilatation and um, we can uh, surprisingly you can identify a retrocable ureter, sometimes the stone can be associated with it. And, uh, and most common, this uh, I will be discussing next, most commonly the uh, obstruction, sometimes even a stone with the urethrosis can be asymptomatic with the dilatation, when you evaluate you can identify this. A stone, you can see the tandem stones and loin pain. Generally, a pain or a person is having a symptom definitely needs a, a complete workup. I can say in urology, urology is a, my professor used to tell it is a mathematics like a cardiology. Your blood if it can be blocked, if, uh, if proper option will produce either uh, uh, normal system if it is reflexing or it can be stenosis. The same thing will be the applied in the urology. There can be obstruction or there can be a reflex. It's equal to the mathematics. 
my professor again used to, used to tell it is very simple to deal any urological problem. If for a, as, a uro, as a general practitioner, if any patient you suspect they have probably a urological uh, problem the patient is having, first thing you should do is an ultrasound, good ultrasound, kidney ureter bladder. Ultrasound abdomen can be done at any point of time. It doesn't need a fasting or it doesn't need any specific uh, advice. You can subject the patient for ultrasound. So when you do an ultrasound, always ask for, uh, for the, from the sonologist or a good uh, radiologist, please ask them to do a post-void residual urine. So this is again important when a person is having a low urinary tract symptom. In a low urinary tract symptom, we bother whether the post-void symptom is, post-void residual urine is significant or not. So what is the post-void residual urine? The post-void residual urine is, if anything is more than 12.5 ml, up to 12.5 to 12.5 ml, generally it should be in it. Uh, maximum accepted limit is 12.5 ml. If goes beyond that, it means we take significant. Even a 30 ml post-void residual urine in a diabetic individual is significant. Because of any post-void residual urine, we know it is a chance for infection is there. So first thing, a person with a urine, with you think of any urinary problem, you plan kindly do a ultrasound KUP. With the post-void residual urine. So uh, loin pain can be many, many causes for the loin pain. We know uh, the most common we encounter in, uh, in our practice is uh, stone disease. 99% we are say, uh, seeing only the stone disease with the loin pain. And uh, the word of caution, generally I can, uh, up to 5 mm stone can be managed without intervention because the size of the ureter is 3, uh, diameter of the ureter is 3 mm. You give an added 2 mm, there is a possibility up to 5 mm will pass spontaneously. But when the stone size increases, okay, if, there you, if you see a person with one centimeter stone, um, uh, uh, the uh, patient is asking, doctor, I need some interest, kind of intervention. You don't need to send a, that kind of person to a urologist. You would send the patient to the good ESWL center where the, without even stenting, the stone can be broken. So the cutoff for uh, whether you need a stent with the ESWL or without stent for ESWL is one centimeter. If there's a 1 centimeter stone, but the book says 1.5 centimeter, practically we follow 1 centimeter as a cutoff. If with the 1 centimeter stone, if the, if the patient is coming to you and he doesn't want to see anybody and very poor patient, majority are average socioeconomic status, we, you can directly send the patient for ESWL. There is no need for any opinion, no bother about how full unit, no need to worry whether the stone is this kind of stone or that kind of stone. Up to 1 centimeter can let it be any kind of stone, you can send the patient for ESWL provided the patient is good. So sometimes the, the um, place will afford a package, three, three years of for 25,000, something like that. But I personally, what we have seen as a urologist, even as a, if uh, my father is suffering with the planning for years of admission, I will send my father only to the GH where the years of admission is wonderful. I do not know much about the other places, but very few centers the claiming the ESW, but the failure rate is more. So one centimeter, if there's a stone, you, you meet a patient with one centimeter stone, where patient is willing for ESW, kindly send without any other intervention. So what I really worried when a person we are treating and that person coming back to you is a stagon calculi. This stagon calculi is notorious for 100% recurrence. So whatever is 100% recurrence, we should know. This stagon calculi is mostly occurs in the proteus infection, infection patient. So uh, any infection, we have to give a long-term antibiotic. If the patient is not subjected for long-term an antibiotic, or as a surgeon, any even a open surgery you do, a robotic surgery we do, or a PCNL we do, there is no 100% clearance. The clearance rate is 82%. We can take an another sitting to clear, or we can take another sandwich procedure like ESW, we can add it to clear the stone. But if you see a, even a leave a 5 mm stone or 1 cm stone, invariably again it can occupy the all calyxes. So when you are, when we suspect a stag on calculi, please 100% recurrence rate is there, we have to educate the person, patient. So this is a stone in the uh, ureter and this is a stone in the uh, uh, ureter, low ureter and this is a stone in the VUJ where again the person will, uh, the patient will come to you whether need an uh, uh, intervention by the uh, urologist or give some drug even when they come to me also please give some drug please give some advice something to for a spontaneous explosion I everyone knows you um, tamsulosin works very well please add a tamsulosin with uh, steroid like a deflosocard combination many many drugs are commonly we are using tamfil yes yes stands for steroid steroid is a deflosocard and what is advice what is evidence what we have to follow yeah, almost all practitioners 
are recommending coffee as yes, good when a person is having a symptom and they are they are seeing you first and there is a cut off how long we can wait one if the patient is having a persistent pain in spite of uh, drugs um, antibiotic and uh, very good emergency there is a need for intervention if the person in spite of you give a tamiflu and still the, the patient is having a uh, stone persisting so we can maximum you, you can wait for 10 days from the onset of symptom to patient being be patient have taken the drugs if in spite of drugs after 10 days also the stone persisting definitely the patient needs an intervention i added a one point to you ckd is now prevailing uh, now increasing trend and uh, soon like a cardiac uh, problem ckd uh, need for a dialysis and transplant is upcoming after 30 years normally as like our hairs fall uh, you know, 1 ml gfr decreases by 1 ml per year so if a person is 100 ml gfr by 25 years after after 30 it, it will be 99 so you can, it, you can increase it so if there is a obstruction there is a high chance for a nephron injury so beyond 10 days there is a more you uh, we uh, allowing the best, uh, patient to suffer with the nephron damage and the gfr loss so please educate the patient after 10 days there is no point in waiting if your stone persists in spite of a wonderful conservative management please need an urgent help so this is a VUJ calculator that will be uh, surrounding edema also that please never ever give a diuretic therapy so if fluid with the diuresis can, ca can cause a urinoma by obstruction of the papillary fortnitures or it will make our uh, further intervention, intervention still more difficult so please it is not at all uh, it is uh, it should be abandoned it should not be recommended uh, if at all if you want you can give, ask the patient to take a plenty of fluids by oral alone So this is a PCL position and uh, sometimes the loin pain, very dull aching pain, uh, pain will be the, this, can you, can you I, able to identify this, there is a small tumor even uh, if, uh, if not uh, uh, able to see this, sometimes it will be missed by the residents. So uh, lo occasional loin pain, please have it in your mind, there is a possibility, asymptomatic, asymptomatic renal cell carcinoma. Even we have lost one of the leading transplant surgeon by this renal cell carcinoma. So don't think, if you have, I always uh, uh, teach the patient and tell the patient, you come to here because you have some problem. Otherwise nobody will like to come to the practitioner or a doctor, the two uh, uh, urologist. So please follow what I say. Otherwise don't take, don't spoil my name. That's the first, first thing I utter. So please, even there is a dull pain, the, there is no limit for the cancer. I have operated for, in a 25 years woman to 70 years uh, patient there is no there is a uh, there is a no limit age is the criteria so even occasional law in pain please think of this so another patient this is another patient with rcc so this is uh, adpkd so another um, another point i want to suggest i want to uh, insist here is any space occupying lesion in urology uh, kidney ureter bladder test is is malignancy unless proven otherwise please there is no second thought it is a benign or need an uh, physician opinion nothing any space occupying lesion kidney ureter bladder or uh, test is is malignancy unless proven otherwise so this again i, I feel should be a carry on message from my side and uh, this is all sometimes you can see horseshoe kidney doesn't need intervention some depression will ask sir do we need to excise the isthmus nothing is needed put in conservative warn him there is a high chance of stone and uh, uh, ask him to take a conservative measure to prevent stone formation so voiding symptoms now um, we have seen lot of void, a lot of uh, uh, prostate uh, patient suffering with the prostate problem is being very well treated with the uh, general practitioners um, uh, physician nephrologists and all other than urologists we are happy the trend is declining but please remember there are certain indication which is absolutely needed for uh, surgery number one please i can uh, I, I used to teach my resident remember it as a sugar s u g a r s stands for if there is a stone with a uh, uh, prostate enlargement there is an absolute indication if there is a uti recurrent uti the patient is having we will be keep on uh, giving the drug that's an indication for a surgery um, g gross hematuria even if there is a one in one incidence of gross hematuria, the patient is an uh, indication for a surgery and A, asotemia is the is an indication for surgery and R, refractory retention, one, not the first retention is an uh, indication for surgery but you, if a patient is with the, coming with a retention, you put a catheter, you manage him with the tamsulosin and you give for 3 days, the tamsulosin, the peak effect occurs in the 3 days, after 3 days you, you would, you can try the trial wording. 
This all I can say because this all can be managed by yourself. After three days, you do a trial loading, ask the patient to continue the transclosing, but still, the, uh, in, uh, in spite of the drug, even uh, after going the catheter, if the patient is happy, okay, leave, leave him with the transclosing. If the patient is not happy, that is a refractory retention. That patient needs an uh, intervention. So these SUGAR, stone, cross amateuria, UTA, asotemia, and refractory retention are only indication for surgery. Please remember, because I have not, I, I have not seen much uh, prostate patient in my practice because all are wonderfully managed. But these, these five things need absolutely need for an inter intervention. So one thing which, and uh, second thing which I want, I want to warn the general practitioners are many times we see serum BSA is elevated, but you do a parenteral examination to be a smooth prostate and we, we think it's a benign prostate hyperplasia or sometimes we take the word from the patient over the phone and we treat the patient, okay, the head to go by the answer is in your state, head to go by the combination head to go by the answer, even uh, this time, we had, one of the senior most uh, professor being treated over the phone by uh, his own uh, student and he ended up with uh, multiple metastatic Prostatic, uh, prostatic disease. So, prostatic carcinoma, we should have a, that also will be presenting with a lower urinary tract symptom. Like, I want, adding a one point more, first symptom you can see in your patient with the prostate is nocturia. If you, I always tell the patient, nocturia, nocturia any person, if you get into the bed, they should wake up and then only they should pass the, pass urine. If they, if they get it, uh, after the, after going to the sleep, if they even uh, get up once for uh, voiding, that is, that is some indicator, some definition for nocturia. So five times, we have seen five times nocturia, those candidates you can, uh, you can diagnose easily as a yearly, uh, yearly diagnosis for a prostatic problem. Okay, this can be a, um, uh, prost that stricture in the urethra, uh, this is another stricture in the urethra can be present in the voiding symptoms. And injuries, um, the injuries, I think no one should, majority of uh, injuries are managed conservatively and word, the ureter is most commonly injured by the uh, hydrogenic injuries and uh, this injury should be managed very, um, by the Fakka team. Other kind of injuries, the bladder, bladder tumor and this is also again a um, carry on message, any person with a painless gross hematuria is CA bladder unless, unless proven otherwise. Please, even a person say, once I have a uh, gross amateuria, please evaluate him further. That can be a, a CA bladder. Please take, the, take that message as a carry home message. It's a, it's a CA bladder unless proven otherwise. Okay, this is a CA bladder. An infection, many number of times, uh, we will be seeing with the female with the infection. Yeah, when, when, how to treat, when to treat, uh, when to re refer such uh, patient. We, majority of the time, 90, 99% we manage, we manage the patient with the cystitis. Please, given we do a cystitis, if, if you refer the patient for ultrasound, ask for post void residual urine. If there is a post void residual urine, is more than 12.5 ml, please remember, even 20 ml with uh, immunocompromised person can develop cystitis. If you leave the cystitis, this, that uh, unmanaged, uh, managed improperly, that can become a pyelonephritis, that can become C, this emphysematous as pyelonephritis. High mortality rate, the mortality rate is nearly 60-70 percent. If it is not managed, if a proper um, cystitis is not managed properly, it cannot, it, it can lead to even a mod, high mortality disease. This emphysematous pyelonephritis, you can see air inside the kidney, so uh, phantom galaxy in uh, uh, GUTB. Can anyone uh, tell what is this? So, this is a... Um, uh, Hypospadias, you can see this uh, uh, dorsal hood. Just uh, uh, can anyone tell what is this? Yes, a pineal fracture. This is a typical appearance of a pineal, uh, pineal fracture. Amer it's called as American American brinjoid appearance. Eggplant deformity. So, uh, if you happen to see a paraphimosis patient, I will tell you one simple te technique. You don't put a jelly in the, anything. When you put a jelly, when you want to reduce it, it will uh, along the entire uh, penis will uh, come out. With a, uh, when you do a try to attempt to reduce the uh, paraphimosis, please you can you, you just uh, with the thumb you can uh, apply over the glands and gradual slow uh, uh, reduction should be attempted. Because many times uh, after catheterization only the paraphimosis uh, happen or, uh, or uh, immediately after the uh, first uh, sex the, we have we are seeing paraphimosis. So gentle gentle reduction when, when you when you pull it uh, down push with your uh, thumb with the glands penis definitely under percent it will reduce. If not reducing that is the indication for surgery. Okay. So please remember many many times uh, paraphimosis comes from the general practitioner. 
and uh, please whenever you see uh, always i uh, my professor used to tell when always you educate your child to uh, retract the prepuce and uh, clean the glands penis because pimosis and spegma is the most common irritant for the ca penis so scrotum you can see a uh, um, uh, dilated uh, dilated vessels varicosity varicosity per se is not an indication for any intervention the varicosity is producing symptom because any symptom you always make sure your patient is pain free if the patient is having a symptom or if a patient is infertile he needs a workup or if the if the patient because of the varicosity the size of the test is decreases in size that's an indication otherwise mere varicosity is not at all indication for surgery even infertile uh, fertile couple is having a varicosity it, it can be managed without any any intervention provided please remember if there's a varicosity can be the reason for a malignancy like uh, rcc can produce a varicosity that should be ruled out when you whenever you see a varicosity patient so and uh, this again uh, i want to take as a carry on message any acute onset of testicular pain is an urgent in indication for a referral by either a general surgeon or a urologist who is available because the 6 hours is a golden time if the within 6 hours if the testis is not managed doesn't need any radiologist or any anybody self if there is high index of suspicion yeah probably this is a torsion testis that is an indication for surgery immediate intervention is essential last few slides sir So infertility, uncontrolled hypertension. Please think of renal vascular hypertension, and uh, this is a, a case of uh, adrenal carcinoma. There can be a reason for um, uncontrolled hypertension. And last and uh, high yield uh, for all general practitioner is a erectile dysfunction. Whenever you see a person with erectile dysfunction, always tell the general practitioner should manage the erectile dysfunction because the patient will be more comfortable. If I put a sexologist that I practice, the patient will think to come and uh, come to, and uh, have a consultation with me. So whenever you encounter a person with their erectile dysfunction, please remember this, I can can I take this another two two more minutes. Definitely will be helpful for your practice. First, does all patient needs a uh, scan? Does all patient need a uh, urologist opinion? Does all patient need a penile Doppler? Okay, a scan I meant for a penile Doppler. No, if a person there are a lot of things in a history I don't want to go. We know how to uh, elicit the history. What are the things to be uh, things to be thought whenever we take the patient with the erectile dysfunction? Please remember, if you think a common erectile dysfunction can be divided into vasculogenic and neurogenic, and vasculogenic if If we can't differentiate with uh, uh, identifying with the history alone. If a person is having erectile dysfunction, please give a. Uh, this is called as uh, uh, or uh, this is called as office dose. Sit tablet sildenafil, 100 milligram to be given as a demand dose one hour before the sex. Okay. So uh, many many patient things. This, uh, after taking the drug itself will produce erection. It's not at all. Its erection is a psycho psychosexual stimuli. So. Patient should be educated to have a proper foreplay. There should be proper stimulation. Then only that can produce erection. Even the cellular fill is also being taken. So that should be educated. Number one, if 100 milli milligram cellular fill one hour before the sex, uh, patient takes in a proper uh, mood, happy is uh, enjoying it with his partner. If if it produces a nice erection, it it solves the many many number of time. It is a psycho psychological uh, cause. The patient will feel, yeah, I'm, I'm inferior because I'm not able to perform. Once this works, you will gain the confidence. You can advise for two, three, uh, two, three times in a week. Once he regains his confidence, he doesn't need any more drug. So this is one. If selling a pill is fail, yeah, in spite of in spite of drug, the patient is not happy. The patient erection is not there. The patient is not able to satisfy his partner. The patient feels I'm, I'm, whether I am able to fit enough to marry a girl or I am going to lose the life of another uh, female. If such queries occurs, please remember. Then comes intra intra cavernosal injection. Okay, this this can be if you are if you have a lot of patient, you can learn this one in intra cavernosal injection. Please add. It's called as bimix. It's not papaverin alone. In many scan center, they do papaverin alone for uh, erection. It is a papaverin plus chlorpromazine combination. Okay, papaverin chlorpromazine combination. Four ml of papaverin and point one ml of chlorpromazine is added. That's called as bimix. Four ml of papaverin and point one ml of uh, chlorpromazine that is add that is added in a uh, vial. And out of this, just a point one ml is given intra cavernosal. With this. The erection will happen. Definitely will happen because there are a lot of mechanism. I don't want to discuss those things. In spite of this, there is no erection. Definitely, that he is the candidate for surgery. Okay. So please remember, give tablet selenina for hundred milligram. Doesn't work. Go for intracavernous injection of by mix. By mix is two two things being mixed. Number one is uh, um, uh, 
um, chlorpromacine, number two is papaverin, 4 ml of papaverin with 0.1 ml of chlorpromacine. Out of this, you have to take just 0.1 ml. This combination, you have to you have to take 0.1 ml. If it works, yeah, he is potent. If it doesn't work, he is a candidate for surgery. Thank you very much for the golden opportunity. Thank you, sir. Recurrent puzzles, sir. Even, um, even the patient can have an asymptomatic bacteria also can be there. Asymptomatic bacteria is needed to be managed to patients. Sir. One is immunocompromised, number two is if the patient is pregnant, pregnant sir. Otherwise, no need to worry about it. Sir, 20 puzzles means we have to evaluate, sir. 20 puzzles, if you, sometimes the 5 is a cutoff, sir. They may, they may have 8 puzzles or 10 puzzles. We may not, we may not need to give much importance. But 20 puzzles are really significant sometimes. We have to evaluate for those. That can be a gender uh, uh, and tuberculosis. Many number of times it is missed, sir. Okay. So in such case, uh, patient needs hundred percent evaluation. That will be five years also in this study, sir. Thank you, Dr. Vikas, Dr. Parimala. Please come and handle the